All right. Hello, everyone. This is Phi. Um, just wanted to play through some Demo Day 9 demos here today. i um, been having a little bit of trouble with OBS, uh, OBS, um, capturing games here, especially the full screen ones. I don't know why, but um, I'm going to go ahead and finagle it until I can get a bunch of stuff together. And if I have to edit, edit things together, I can do that too. But in any case, um, I just grabbed a few demos here that I, that uh, seemed interesting to me. I didn't want to do all of them, so apologies if yours isn't here. Um, I'm not going to do Clarent because I'm actually working on that game. Um, I might do like a run through of it at the end or something. But um, I'm gonna go go ahead and start here. I got to set this to display capture on OBS because. Fortunately, Bowcube doesn't play well with the other modes for some reason, so I don't know if this will look correct, but we're going to go through, go ahead and, we're going to go ahead and do this, okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, make sure that's getting captured here in OBS. That looks like it. Alright. So this is Bowcube. Um, I haven't played this or any of these yet. <clears throat> so um, it's kind of cool that you have this little start screen. You can move around, um, move your little block thing. Apparently it uses WASD and mouse, which is unexpected. I thought it was just going to be like a controller game. So we'll find out uh, how that works out. <clears throat> oh, you can jump. You can jump in Bowcube. Imagine that. Um, okay. I'm drawing frames per second, it looks like. Got a little shield thing. Um, it's apparently it's shooting. Um, I'm gonna comment right now that the little bullet thing is kind of hard to see. <clears throat> I am running at 60 frames per second here. Um, and it's almost invisible. I mean, you can see it when you look for it, but otherwise it's a little hard to see. So I'm going to go ahead and click Start. I am in a bunch of flowers. This is kind of cute. Got some pizza here, some hiding kitty cats. <clears throat> Sorry, my, my voice is a little off. Sadly, you woke up. Call me a gaggy. I refuse to use those dumb cube names. My purpose is to save your game. Don't tell my brother here. I actu actually wish you would delete the file and end us all. Okay. Dialogue is <laughs> a little strange. I am Nick Goob. You must be remembering what it was like to be a real bunny, but isn't this cool to be in a game? My purpose is to guide you. Step on the white checkpoint to complete this level. Okay, so you gotta find these box people in the game, presumably. <clears throat> I feel like I was just here. Uh, was Kimmy and she'll be eaten by the evil fox if you don't save her. Will you agree to travel through the game to rescue her, Boku? Okay, so we gotta rescue Kimmy. Something isn't right. I know my brother here is hiding something from me. We should really get going back to reality if you aren't going to delete the stupid file. Screw the other rabbit. Okay, I guess, um... I'm wondering if the if the uh, developers has uh, speaks English as his or her first language. Um, <clears throat> all right, so these levels are done. Uh, thought it might have froze there for a second. Apparently not. Um, so more of this stuff. So it's a deal. Uh, start the music, okay. If you can get us to the end of this stupid game, I think I can find us a way out. My brother here seems to have given up on that. No reason for us to give up. <clears throat> Alright, this looks like a proper game now. 
So this little block thing that we can push. Whoop. Oh, you can fall off the edge. Okay. F key. You can indeed fall off the edge and die. Push this pink puzzle key to complete the level. If you screw up, press the F key or back button on the gamepad. Oh, so you can use a gamepad. Do I want to use a gamepad? Uh, um, hmm. <clears throat> well, my controller is currently connected, but it's not responding. So I'm just going to go ahead and stick the keyboard mouse. Um, so are, are we supposed to bring the pink thing to the end? That must be it. It's okay to see around these terribly built levels, but your stupid controls only allow you to turn it counterclockwise? Why not clockwise as well? What is this trash? Alright, so... Is it E? Okay. Am I dropping frames? It's very strange. <clears throat> so it looks like it's dropping frames, but it says I'm at like 70 plus frames per second. Uh, so I don't know what's up with that, but no big deal. I'm gonna go over this little bridge thingy. And get the cube. I, don't, I guess I can't push it through the grass, but I can. I can't move into the grass either. So this works, and then I can <coughs> use our little bridge. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing this is an enemy. Spacebar to hop over enemies or traps. You have to be still and time your key button press to hop correctly over them. All right, we gotta rotate. Oh, wrong button here. Okay, I pressed E, it didn't seem to work. I'm not sure what, <clears throat> what that was. Now, he looks like he's in the middle, but yeah, okay, he's covering where all that smoke is underneath him, apparently. Okay, F key. I'm gonna try this again. It's the wrong key. Press E, it didn't work. I don't know if I have to... If it doesn't work the first time you press it in the level or something, but... Okay. I don't think you can move and jump, so I have to time it. Which is apparently fairly difficult. Yeah, I definitely have to push E more than once. For some reason. Just the first time. <clears throat> Alright. Whoa. See, I'd like to talk to this guy, but he's trying to kill me, apparently. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try this. Ooh. You can kill him. That's fun. Left mouse to shoot down targets. Remember to use your mouse or left stick on the gamepad to move your cursor. Alrighty. Uh, who programs the shooting gimmick that is only able to shoot down targets? Anyone without a brain will just shoot the enemies and not understand why it isn't killing them. Interesting point. Okay, so I think I have to restart because I shot... Okay, it looks like I should put the mouse here to shoot it, but I have to put it down here. I'm hoping you can see the mouse while I'm recording. So that's a little little bit counterintuitive, but that's okay. And then I can move across this. And let's go to the end. <clears throat> uh, looks like we're in the dark. Use the middle mouse button. Uh, turn on the flashlight and see in the dark. That's interesting. Try to keep your cursor on the tile grid floors. There's nothing but darkness out there. Okay. So this is apparently a little light, just for the sake of lighting. I kind of like this feature. I think that's interesting. help us hide when the darkness comes in. I feel like something is watching you out here. I can't figure out what it is, what that is yet, though. <clears throat> well, that was my fault, obviously. 
See, I'm wondering if there's a reason to have to turn the flashlight on and off. Maybe that's planned, or maybe there's something in the game that I haven't seen yet. Um, because otherwise, I mean, why not just leave it on all the time if it's dark? Hold right mouse to bring out a shield. You can only block spiky ball projectiles with the shield. Don't try to use it on enemies or something like that. So that's a little odd, but I mean, it is an early demo. <clears throat> Alright, so it's a little... Oops. What button am I using? A little hard to see, actually, just because it's kind of zoomed out. And this is... A little awkward, but it's manageable. I don't care for these glowing lights very much myself. I think they're a little obstructive. <clears throat> Okay, don't listen to him. The shield sucks. It actually is able to break later in the stupid game. If you use the shield on top of your puzzle cube, it breaks. It doesn't look like it's breaking. Anyways, okay, let's go through. I'm gonna push that like so. Okay, um, we got enemies, we got spiky saw blade things. Let's see, rotate the screen, we got little lamp posts. There's a guy over here, okay. This doesn't look too hard. It's just going back and forth, right? We actually have two puzzle cubes and I fell off the edge. That was unintentional. The movement is a little fast, so it can be a little hard to only move one space. It's not too bad, but... I would hate to finish a giant, like, elaborate puzzle and then fall off the edge at the last minute or something. <clears throat> so I gotta go to this side to get through here. Oops, I got that right, okay. Uh, wait, I have to move, okay, I have to move this to see the text. It's a little odd. Okay, it's also kind of covering up this whole end of the screen. <clears throat> Watch out for this guy. Okay, we got two things, two puzzle cubes. Should be pretty doable. And apparently I can kill these with the cube. Yeah. Okay, does that stay? Level complete. Okay, that guy's right on top of me. Uh, okay, there's a lot going on all of a sudden. We got... Alright, gotta hit this rotator more than once. Target things... Alright, that was a little hard to... to judge, but that's... Whoops. <laughs> uh, unusual placement for the enemy, considering where you start. Um, so we gotta rotate the screen. Some more rotating. It's a little weird looking in general, but I guess I could... Okay, see, I couldn't understand that this block here wasn't along this line, it looks like it's lifted up. 
but apparently it's along this line, so it's a little problematic. Yeah, <clears throat> this this level kind of shows where you get kind of the weakness of this fixed angle block base level design. It's a little hard to judge occasionally where things are supposed to be. So, okay, there's a goal here and a goal here, and they're a little, they're kind of blending in. Um, a lot of colors at once. Still got that frames per second showing. Um, okay, so I think I'm just supposed to shoot that away, and then I can just push that over here. Um, I should kill this guy. Ooh. Um, <clears throat> so I think that'll just it's not gonna break on me yet so if I rotate see, this is kind of obstructive I mean he said that was somewhat intentional but it's a little annoying Oh shoot, okay, so, <clears throat> um, alright, I'm gonna get rid of this, kind of block this here, try not to eat it from the enemy, and uh, push, oh wait a minute, I can't do that here, can I? Nope, that would be bad, so I gotta push this down to the other, other end, because if I do it here, I'll, I won't be able to move the block anymore. Alright, so, this is proper puzzling, but it's a little bit tedious. Um, oh! It destroys the block. Okay, so I have to restart the whole thing. And I died, okay. Start by going this way. Oops. Oh, I'm, I didn't fall all the way. It's funny. It's weird, but okay. So. Uh, let's see. I do want to go this way. Get rid of this dude. I suppose it doesn't matter which thing I use. <clears throat> I do have to defend the block from these evils. Oh! Now I don't think anything hit that. I, I, I don't know if I missed that, what I was looking at. If I missed one of them, I didn't catch it. But I didn't think that was going to get destroyed by anything. So apologies if I seem bad at your game. tend to take things a little slow. When it's puzzly. So I should be able to sneak down here. Give that the push.
Oh, there's a thing in the way. Okay. And that's all. So not difficult exactly, more tedious, I think. Um, I don't know if it's something I would play for hours on end, as it is. But... Oops. I don't hate it. <laughs> Okay, so apparently there's more level down here. Yeah. Um, we've got. Okay, so this could be. This needs to be pushed down. I don't know if you can. I'm assuming these will kill the block. If you, if it gets hit. Could be frustrating, I don't know. So I should be able to just push this up here and then push this down. Alright. Not too terribly hard. Oh, yeah. It makes it trickier, doesn't it? Okay, I gotta turn my flashlight back on manually. Um, rotate the screen. My volume's a little low. The music is quite quirky in this place. So I can't use the bridge, I do have to... Looks like I should be... Nope, I can't. See, it almost looked like I could sneak across here, but I couldn't, so... I have to try that again. So I didn't fail yet, I can do this. It's doable. Wow. So these are pretty cute, I have to say. I like that they spin around. Um, they're not in sync. Which... Uh, you, who, whoever developed this, I'm sorry I don't know your name, but you probably already know about that, but... cubes are up here. I can't move the view around, I don't believe, so I do have to only rotate it. Uh, it's moving quite quickly. Push this, can we go around here, push this straight down, should be pretty doable. Oops, <laughs> if you don't do stupid things like that, okay. I rotate the view. Oh, okay. Timing's a little tight on that, and you gotta be more careful. Ooh, that's fairly tight. Okay. So again, it's a little hard to judge exactly. I'm gonna rotate this, that helps, of course. Um, sh 
should be good to do this. I don't know if you have to leave it right in the middle or not. It doesn't make it clear. It's not a big deal. Alright, go after the next one. this. How are we going to do this? I guess we push it down here and then go this way. Oh wait, that has to go up here. So push it down here. Then, yeah, just do it up like this and then we can go back around. So, pretty straightforward. Just have to not die. Uh, I'm going to try this view. Oh crap. Yeah, see, I, I moved two on accident. Um, <clears throat> Alright, well, I have no idea how long this demo is. This video has gone on for quite a while. It's probably really boring, but um, I'm probably going to quit. And, um, I mean, not a bad game. It's got some interesting ideas. Um, I didn't hate myself playing it so far, um, not super exciting, but not bad. So I hope there's some useful info in here for Bocube developer, um, and I'm gonna have to go ahead and split this up into its own video because I didn't even think about how long I was gonna be playing this, but um, more videos coming next, I'll upload them separately and do the other games. Alright, see you guys later.